Well, we begin with a difficult story. A child is dead and three family members arrested in a horrific case of alleged child abuse in West Haven. New specialist Shara Park joins us live from the neighborhood. Shara, what have you learned? Well, Dini and Ashley, I want to start with a warning. The abuse that is alleged in these court documents, it is very difficult to hear and to comprehend. We're talking about uh, allegations of malnutrition, beatings, the child locked in his room, uh, forced to wear a soiled diaper. Now, three people, as you mentioned, have been arrested on multiple charges, including child abuse homicide, the child's father, 21-year-old brother, and stepmother. Now, police were called to the family's home in West Haven on July 9th on a report that the boy was unrecognized responsive. According to court documents, the child had been vomiting for several days and experiencing seizures, and his stepmother had tried to revive him by putting him in a shower and attempting CPR. However, the child was taken to a hospital and died. Now, according to charging documents, once examined at the hospital, the boy's body showed malnutrition to a point that his internal organs had shut down completely. And during their investigation, the Weber County Sheriff's Office discovered a large amount of digital evidence of alleged abuse, including text messages to his father, brother, and stepmother about not feeding the child and depriving him of water, as well as pictures and videos of his injured body. Now, according to charging documents, the family kept surveillance cameras in the boy's room and documented the abuse and then removed the cameras and tried to hide them in a shed the day he collapsed before police got on scene. According to investigators, in most of the images, the child could be seen curled up on a carpetless floor of the locked bedroom, which lacked bedding and blankets. Now, according, uh, investigators say that the di digital evidence shows that this abuse with this child spanned years. They also detailed drugs in a common area of the home that they say another child, a younger child, 11 years old, had access to. At this point, we don't know if the abuse applied to that child as well. That's something that we're still looking into. We know that early this morning, 46-year-old Shane Peterson, 50-year-old Nicole Scott, and 21-year-old Tyler Peterson, the older brother, they were all booked into the Weber County Jail, and investigators are requesting that they be held without bail. For Live at 5 in West Haven, I'm Shara Park. That's just terrible. Shara, thank you. To read more about these arrests and to get updates on this story, you can visit ksltv.com or download the KSL Plus app.